Well, howdy, folks. There are those of us who want to dictate to others what America is, what America means, what constitutes America, what constitutes being an American. Basically, I think this is opinion. Does one person have a right to tell you what it means to be an American? There's different concepts of what America is. Some people speak about America as this political entity. We just happen to live on this, what they would refer to as this rock. And they see the greatness of, in America as its political system, and they expect all of us to be part of this. Well, in, in one respect, yeah, that is America. What are my personal feelings on America? They're a little bit different than that. America is a landmass that happens to have people on it. My America is an America I love. My America doesn't do me any harm. Maybe a little poison ivy here and there, or a bee sting. But my America includes much more than human beings. My America is this landmass that's teeming with life, both human and unhuman, inhuman, non-human. <laughs> yeah, let's use that word. Non-human life. America is filled with animals and wild natural things. My America is lakes, mountains, and meadows, and streams, and shoreline, and bayous. My America, in collaboration with the humans who happen to exist on it, has farmland and villages towns and cities and even hermits people living out in the woods in the middle of nowhere they're all part of America they happen to have a political system that political political system alone does not describe America America is a totality and whatever political system it has does not constitute what America is. For some reason, if the political system wouldn't be the one we have today, that does not make me any less of an American, should that ever happen. So, for those of us that are so connected with political ideology and the battleground of ideas and thinking that we all need to be part of this that somehow if this turns us off if we don't we don't like this warlike nature that people have and I'm not talking about foreign wars but I'm talking about the war within within America itself over ideology one can separate themselves from this and love America. They can separate themselves from those who practically demand that we take part in their little schism, this continuing warfare and battleground of one group of people against another. Is that your America? I don't believe in your America, then. 
I love my America, and you should be happy that you're in my America. You want to see I should be happy that I'm part of your America. My America surpasses your America in every way. Because your America is small. It's swallowed up by my America. It's nearly, well, I was going to say irrelevant, but that's, as far as humanity is concerned, it does have relevance. Yeah, it has lots of relevance. But my America is this wonderful place that happens to have people on it. And uh, the citizens of my America are human, non-human. There's a totality of what America is. And I love my America. And your America, I don't like as much. So, enjoy your little battleground that you insist on having. Enjoy the ideological conflicts. Guess what? Humans are not the bottom line. We're just one animal mixed in with a whole lot more, but uh, we like to think of ourselves as the most important animal. More important than nature itself. Humans go against nature. They go against natural things. They, they carve into nature. They tear up the planet. They do all this all these things that go against the reality of America in its totality. Humans are not the absolute most important thing there is. And uh, until we realize that, we're going to keep having all the, the hardship and strife that, that happens in this country and around the world as well. So, as long as you're here, enjoy my America, but don't insist that your America is the main important thing over this particular American. Because it's not. Talk to you later.